Thank you for coming in um, and talking about this issue with us. Non-compliant products is such a huge issue for our industry. Um, it's a very serious issue and I think we've got a, a lot to talk about and we, we've also got a lot to do in terms of this space. So I might throw to the first question, who is actually liable if a non-compliant product causes damage to either property or person? It's, it's a, a long answer, um, but the, the brief part of it is that it's everybody between the installer and the manufacturer or supplier of the product. Specifically, if an electrical contractor installs non-compliant product, then the electrical contractor will breach one or more of the following issues. If the transaction is less than $40,000, then Australian consumer law comes into uh, to, to play. And by uh, that, we mean the supply of a product that is not of acceptable quality, that is free of defects. The second point is that the electrical safety laws, by supplying or installing an unsafe product or a product contrary to the Australian standards and wiring rules requirements, the third issue could be contract law by breach of an express or implied term that the product supplied or installed is safe and or complies with Australian standards. Uh, I'm sorry this is getting legalistic, but it, it's necessary to be accurate with this. The fourth provision is under tort law, and that's with respect to negligence by supplying or installing an unsafe or non-compliant product and or the Competition and Consumer Act for misleading and or misleading and deceptive conduct and or false representations by conduct or statements as to or implying the supply or installation of a safe and or non-compliant product. In general terms, the electrical contractor, by breaching the above, will be liable for the loss suffered by the contractor's customer, either a homeowner or a builder, to whom the contractor subcontracted and who is being pursued by their customer. It's quite likely that because of the breach of the above, laws or breach of contract, the consumer can legally insist that the electrical contractor remove the non-compliant product and replace it with compliant product at the contractor's cost. A builder and or a retailer supplier would also be liable under one or more of the above, so the same liability could attach to them as to the electrical contractor for any loss suffered by their customer. For a manufacturer or importer, the supply of the non-compliant product will involve the breach of one or more of the above and will carry additional penalties under the Australian consumer law to an individual or consumer if the non-compliant product has a safety defect and that safety defect causes a person to be injured or killed or damaged to the individual's or consumer's property. Mm. So it's actually very complex. It's an extremely complex situation.